Hey, uh, Rob Cairns here. I'm the CEO and Chief Creator of Amazing Ideas at Stunning Digital Marketing. I hope everybody's doing well today. Well, we're three or four weeks into the COVID-19 isolation in North America. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope nobody is going insane. In this week's podcast episode, I'm going to talk about the whole Zoom debacle, one that's come to the forefront because Zoom has become more and more popular than ever because of COVID-19. And before we get to Zoom debacle, I want to throw some quick news stories at you. So let's sit tight and sit back and relax and enjoy the news. Hey, all in the news. First off, Boris Johnson, the Prime Minister of the UK, is out of ICU, which is good news for the residents of the UK. So hopefully we wish him soon. Uh, Trump is dying in the US is still a disaster. Yes, I mean Donald Trump. It never ends. Hate me or love me, but if he doesn't get on board with the governors, the mess in the US is going to explode even faster. So the sooner the better on that one. And in Canada, our projections have uh, been released and the numbers expect to climb. So let's just take care of each other and take care of everybody. As we go into Easter and Passover, please remember social distancing does matter and we need to continue with social distancing. One last thing, UFC is on indefinite hold after pressure from ESPN and Disney about uh, UFC fight. So it's about time that happened. There's no way they should be fighting. I would expect the WWE to be right behind it very soon. And now on to this week's podcast. This week's podcast is focused on the entire Zoom debacle or Zoom security, or whatever you want to call it. Frankly, I'm going to start this podcast by an unpopular opinion that Zoom is not at fault here. The end user is. We say in the tech world, it's what's between the ears. And frankly, that's part of the big problem here. All these people have been jumping on Zoom who have no idea how to set it up properly, have no training, and have no time to adjust. And because people insisted on not putting in a password into their Zoom rooms, we've ended up in a situation called Zoom jacking or Zoom bombing, as it's been coined. Basically means somebody finds the Zoom room numbers and enters the Zoom room because there's no password assigned. I even watched one person say on Facebook today, who I no longer am friended with because they were absolutely outrageous about it and saying this is hacking. Leaving your front door open is not hacking. It's called handing the bad guys the keys to the kitchen. And we all need to remember that. So Zoom has been proactive and changed their default settings for many, many things, including it requires a password. And now Zoom requires you to admit people from the waiting room into your conference. That's a good thing, isn't it? But at the end of the day, We need to remember that Zoom bombing is the fault of the end user, not what the attorney general says, not what people have called malware. Frankly, I wouldn't listen to lawmakers anyway because they really don't understand technology and the security behind it. Now, that said, there are some things you can do. One, make sure your Zoom room always has a password. Two, set your settings so you have to admit people from the waiting room into the Zoom conversation. Those things, believe it or not, do matter. Three, if anybody's in your Zoom conversation that you shouldn't, and you're the moderator or the owner of the Zoom chat, you can boot them out. Do it. That Those simple things will help secure your Zoom session. This is what happens when you feed to the wolves, people who are not used to being at home and normally have the support of an entire IT security department in a big corporation. They don't understand how things work. Small business owners and entrepreneurs otherwise do understand how things work. So you need to keep that in mind and realize that 
People like myself who have been in the entrepreneur's field for a long, long time realize how to set up a proper Zoom room. And the reality of that is by setting up the Zoom room properly and setting up the Zoom chat properly, we've secured it. I have to give kudos to the guys at Zoom and the men and lady who make that software as a service company work because they change the default settings to make it easier. But don't blame them. It's not their fault. Blame the reporters who need a headline that's not COVID-19. Blame the people who think they know what they're doing up in Washington because they have no clue. And frankly, Zoom is secure as go to my meeting or join.me or WebEx. It's a bit of a rant today, folks, but really I'm tired of blame being placed in the wrong places. So as always, Rob Cairns. CEO and Chief Creator of Amazing Ideas at Stunning Digital Marketing. For our free newsletter, jump on over to stunningdigitalmarketing.com, scroll down to the bottom of the page, put your email address in, we'll never ask you for a credit card. And also, while you're at it, um, you can get a free 30-minute strategy digital marketing business session for anything you want to talk about. Scroll midway in the page under the COVID-19 um, note and uh, sign up. All you got to do is book into my calendar. I'd be glad to sit down with you and your team and help you guys out and let's make this world a better place and help each other. No obligation. I just want to help some people succeed. And after you do that, maybe you might want to check out one of our podcasts. One of our latest ones was was. My friend Devinder Singh Khan in India, where Devinder and I talked about the difference between COVID-19 in India and North America. Check that one out. It's the episode before this one. And as always, this podcast is dedicated to my late father, Bruce Cairns. I love you, Dad. And do me a favor. Keep your feet on the ground. Keep reaching for the stars. Make your business succeed. And please stay safe.